Someone commented, I know you won't see this, but I need a video of why I can't feel love in any sort of way. It's left me damaged and irritated more times than I can count, and I've just felt so alone watching everyone else get into relationships all around me. I've had one relationship in my life, and that only lasted for a week, and I wasn't really feeling any sort of love, I just thought the relationship would maybe open my eyes to it. Nothing I've tried has worked. Just please make a video about this. We're here to answer your question. What is it that they have that I don't? I feel like I'm missing something. Like I'm not just missing love, I'm missing the ability to love. I've been in relationships before, but felt empty the whole time. The emotional and mental whirlwind that follows can be dizzying. Sometimes I think I just haven't found the right person. Maybe I'm just too distracted by my other pursuits. What if, what if I'm a psychopath? Hang on right there. This rabbit hole has just gone in the wrong direction. Let's look at some real reasons you feel numb to love. Number one, practicing love doesn't work. You might be tempted to get into a relationship with someone just because you believe it's the right thing to do. You can't grow those feelings out of nowhere. Relationships take work, and loving them makes it worth it. If you don't love someone at the beginning of the relationship, it is almost certainly not going to last. You can teach yourself to be more generous, patient, and caring, but you can't teach yourself to love. That just isn't how it works. In the end, as you might already know, dating someone you don't love can only end in pain for them. If you feel numb to love, it might be because you're trying to force yourself to love someone that you don't. Number two, it's not a good time. You might be at a difficult stage in your life right now, not just with everything going on outside, but inside as well. Our hormones can make our minds a pretty confusing place. If you're a teenager or a young adult and you already believe you're incapable of feeling love, don't worry about it too much. It's just a matter of timing. Right now, your body and mind are a little at odds with each other. You might be feeling a yearning to be with someone. But you know in your heart and your head that you don't really love anyone. One, you are not crazy. You don't have to be in love right now, that's okay. That goes for everyone. You don't have to be in love with anyone. Adults aren't immune to the psychological effects of hormones. It's common to feel all of this again later on in life, right when we think we have a good grip on who we are. Number three. Difficulty relating rather than loving. Your problem might not be that you're numb to love, but rather that you can't relate to anyone around you. If you've noticed that you struggle to feel and show love to those around you, maybe you just don't actually like them as much as you think you should. When it comes to love, it takes more than just a few shared interests. If you feel numb to love, check if there's a good foundation for love to thrive. A good foundation for love can be built on having similar worldviews, similar values, and complementary personalities. Even if you have all that, if the feeling just isn't there, that's okay too. Sometimes you fall in love with the wrong people, and sometimes we don't love the right people. If you feel like you want to love someone, that means you're capable of loving. Sometimes you just get in our own way. Number four, getting in your own way. A lot of ancient writers spin stories about self-fulfilling prophecies. We find ourselves in the situations we want to avoid by trying to avoid them. Imagine there is a prophecy that you will be alone. So you never try to get with someone you love because you know that whether it be through a breakup, a divorce, or even death, the end won't be pretty. The problem now is that <laughs> you're lonely anyway. It's common for people to avoid relationships and love, believing that they are avoiding heartbreak. This logical fallacy can stem from depression. If you have depression, you may already struggle with relationships and feeling deserving of love. If that sounds like you, maybe you aren't numb to love but a little bit numb to a lot of positive things. Number five, dysfunctions in primary relationships. If you were truly numb to love, you would struggle to feel it for and from family and friends as well. As we established, depression and depressive conditions can make you think you're incapable of being loved, but you still need the attention of your parents and the camaraderie of your friends. If you care about your family or friends, if you want to spend time with them at all, that should tell you that you have love inside you. Developing, maintaining, and cultivating your non-romantic relationships can better prepare you for a romantic relationship and help you feel more secure in both non-romantic and romantic relationships. Try not to compare yourself to others. Love comes naturally, so don't try to force it. When love does come, allow yourself to feel it. In the meantime, if you feel numb to love, love those around you and love your friends and family as much as you can. If the numbness persists, we encourage you to seek the opinion and help of a professional for more specific advice. We want you to live your best life, and that includes feeling loved. 
If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to Psych2Go for more videos like this. You got this.